I, though, now am going to give my my way too early prediction, right? And we're all entirely aware that we don't know. People struggle to bet football 20 minutes before the game, let alone six months before the game. Yeah. That said, it's a fun exercise. Um, week one, Landfill, we're going to Tampa. I think people kind of sleep on Tampa. Uh, they got everybody back. I think Todd Bowles is a good coach. They play good, sound defense. Um, Baker played quite well for them last year. He did last year. Um, Can he follow up with that? Well, I think Dave Canales was a big part of it. He left for Charlotte now. Um, but I, I got I got the opening loss, but then a resounding, and I, I know how dangerous it is to say this against the New York football Giants. I got a resounding win against the Giants in front of an absolute wild FedEx field, people wearing Jaden Daniels jerseys. You just see number fives everywhere you go. I think that I think that will be one of the most fun games because it's last year was the home opener with Harris, but Harris was still kind of it was everything he inherited. He bought the team a week before training camp started. Like there was nothing they could do. This year, it, it's his team. It, it's mm-hmm. starting to build the things he wants. I think that week two Giants crowd will be pretty damn epic. Um, okay. I, I think the game will match it. Week three at Cincy, that's a hell, man. Uh, Cincy's really good. Now, they've got some questions on their defense. Trey Hendrickson, what's happening there? But I, I do think that could be a really fun kind of shootouty game. If And think about the... The LSU storyline there. Oh, yeah. With Burrow versus Daniels. Yeah. Like to me, this year, two of the best seasons ever as a quarterback in yeah, college football. Right. Happen to go to the same school. Right. Within three years of one of them. Yeah. Um, for me, this year is about growth, not necessarily wins and losses. I think there's going to be more wins mm-hmm. for sure, but I think it's about seeing what you've got at the quarterback spot and then a number of other spots and how you build from there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I do have a, a tough start here um, because I think that Arizona game is going to be pretty tough. Um, you know, I, but I, I think they can win that one. Honestly, mm-hmm. I, I just, I don't, I don't know what they have there. I'm going to go win. So I'm two and two at the quarter mark. Um, Cleveland at home. That, that's tough. Cleveland and the Ravens. Those are two of the not only, I'd say, top 10 teams in the NFL, but also just super physical teams. Defense. And and their own lines. I mean, mm-hmm. they run the hell out of the football, both of those teams. Yep. And when you look at Washington, I don't know how equipped they are to handle a fellow like Miles Garrett. Um, so I'm going to go back to back losses there against the AFC North. Then things warm up. I got back to back wins, Panthers and Bears. I think you got to win those, man. Like, you don't want to put too much pressure on anybody, but Carolina's absolute must win. Yeah. And then Chicago, Chicago did a lot to rebuild their Chicago. I am actually just, could be favored in that game. What game Beat him is Daryl G- Green's jersey being retired? They haven't announced that. That's going to be a huge game. Well, he's got a pretty famous play against the Bears. Could be that punt return touchdown. What, whatever game that is, it's going to be loaded. That's a great call. Tony Lane says that too. What that it could be that Bears game? Yeah, I mean, you know, one thing about I know how we we're pushing to other. When those guys from that era comes along, people support that. Well, to your point, arguably Daryl's two most iconic plays in a 20-year career with the same franchise, the punt return touchdown against the Bears, where, what, he pull his hamstring or his rib, rib. or something? Yep. Or when he chased down Tony Dorsett on Monday Night Football. Could be Dallas. That's November 24th. That'd be a pretty juicy one, too. Mm. Um. So at the quarter... Quarter, I'm sorry, at the halfway mark of the season, 0 and 1, 1 and 1, 1 and 2, 2 and 2, 2 and 4, 4 and 4. I got them even halfway mark of the season. All right. That, that would be do double. Go that would be up, double the wins. Do they start to 
I I kind of for a little bit here. I kind of stay on the same path here. I um fool me once. What I, I don't even know what the hell that saying is, but fool me once, same on you. They got to win. They haven't they haven't beaten the Giants in their last four tries. They got to win in the Meadowlands before I'm predicting a win in the Meadowlands. Um, Steelers at home. That's a tough game. I think the Steelers just play really, really good defense. But I'm not sure I trust a lot of what they have offensively. I'll say they beat the Steelers, lose on Thursday night to the Eagles, although I really like Landfill's research on Philly being in a possible like trap scenario. Um, I got a big dub. I think the crowd will be electric. I think Dallas will be looking ahead to but figure out who Dallas is hosted on Thanksgiving for me, Jeff, please. I think they beat Dallas at home. I don't know what Dallas has. I then think they beat Tennessee. I don't know what Tennessee has. Mm-hmm. So going into the bye, where was I? I was eight and eight, right? I was four and four, rather. So that's four and five, five and five, five and six. Six and six. The seven Cowboys and six. play the Giants on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Who knows? So I'm six and seven going into the bye week. I think there's real excitement. I think they get seven and seven. I think they win in the Superdome. I I realize this. Be I've never covered a win in the Superdome. Haven't? No, I've covered a bunch of games. I haven't covered one. Have you? Did you ever have one? You ever yeah. win a game down there? Mm-hmm. In college or pros or both? Both. There you go. So I got him at se- in high school. I got him at seven and seven, beating the Eagles at home. Eight and seven. Excitement getting hot. I think it's fool's gold for Atlanta. I think they're gonna have a one year pop, but I think they're gonna have a one year pop. I think Atlanta comes here and it's a loss for Washington. And then I think a game with a lot riding on it. I'm not going to call Sunday night getting flexed, but I think I think you're looking at least at the Sunday 4:30 national television slot for Commander Washington versus Dallas. But I think Dallas wins that one. Why do you think they lose to Atlanta? I think Atlanta's going to be kind of good. I think I think Kirk show. I think Kirk has one really good year, and I think next year it gets sloppy there because the guarantees are running out. Kirk likes his guarantees. Penix probably wants to start playing. That's why I'm calling it fool's gold. I think they have one I good year. I think that the whole thing, I think Kurt's whole thing is going to run out eventually, and I think this will be the beginning of it. They went 7-10 and 10 last year with awful quarterback play. Mm-hmm. I think I think the way Kirk is such a maniac kind of, I, I think his rehab from the Achilles will go well. For at I least think a year. what happened with me is the way I look at him at times, I know people look at him differently. You had awful quarterback play in Atlanta, but you had people who would take chances and don't give a damn. He's very, very cautious in everything he does. Will that take away from a little bit of the explosiveness? It, well, and Kirk is known to have stinkers of games in late December at FedEx Field. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, dude, I got him at 8-9, and I think – that's really good. They won four games last year. I got them doubling their win total. I think it's hardly a reach. I, honestly, I don't even think Jeff's 10 and 7 is that much of a reach. No. Nah. Like, I, I think I think the schedule breaks pretty well for them. I think they could win some games this year. I worry about the depth. Every NFL team's got to worry about depth, but I really worry about it with these guys because I think they put a lot of Band-Aids on spots mm. and, and not necessarily long-term fixes. 